all the Juwan did in 35 and Demo and Fareed kind of sparked you late is the difference here what you did defensively in about 10 or 12 possessions at the end? Yeah, we were trying to play some matchups, some, some point drop, and because they were, I think they scored, they were seven of eight, I think, to start the second half. So we tried to go play some matchup, and we were a little better than that, but not very good. And when they cut it to one, I said, well, why don't we just find out if, if we can guard and if we can get stops and if we can do what we're supposed to do. And I thought we did a great job. Um, really took away their dribble handoff series, took, took that stuff. Uh, uh, away and kind of kept it on one side of the floor finally. Did it get to a point where it seemed like the only thing that they had offensively was the <coughs> high screen and roll? <coughs> yeah, I mean, I told you for seven years we're going to take them out of what they want to do. And it's going to come down to we got to guard the ball and we got to guard the we got a guard to pick and roll, and and I think we did that. I think we took them out of, um, took them out of their dribble handoff series. Took them, took them out out of the, um, all the baseline stuff that they run. And then, I mean, that's what good coaches do. You you figure out some other way to get to get a basket. We're just, I mean, we're just young and dumb. We didn't. We made some really bad decisions. You don't you don't run at a guy who's 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 got a uh, dead ball, you know. You don't run at him to double him. He's already stuck. And we did that twice, two different guys. How would you, <coughs> how would you sum up Juwan's day? He wants to win. I think that's the that's the biggest thing. He wants to win. We changed some stuff that I thought would that we could take advantage of. Just kind of tried to spread it a little bit more and let him play off the bounce a little bit more, and let Aaron play off the bounce a little bit more, and Terry. And uh, we kind of, I think, honestly, we got kind of what we wanted. We we thought we could get to the free throw line, and from just watching watching tape, and we were able to. But. I mean, you know, Mitch, I've said it a thousand times. The kid cares and he works, you know. He puts time in. He studies film. Uh, he wants to be He wants to be a really good player. And, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of him, proud of the fact that he hasn't backed off. You know, he's, he's kind of turned into um, what a lot of the other guys that I've had that ended up being great players have had. You know, you tell them, you know, get out of practice, man. I want to. You know, we need to. We need to save your legs a little bit, and and you turn around, he's right back in, and and that's the way those other guys were. And he's he's in early, he stays late. He's the kind of guy that you hope has success because he's he's earned it. Coach, how about the uh, job you guys did on Southwell? It seemed that Foster and Gibson got theirs, but uh, Southwell <coughs> really uh, really struggled. Obviously, we want to do a better job on those two, uh, but uh, yeah, Shane's a tough matchup, and we changed we changed how we were how we were going to guard him, and I think that helped us a little bit. I mean, he missed some shots. Let's be honest, he missed some shots. That if they go in, he's a lot harder to guard. Changes you made with your offense was that a thing for you, or was it a thing for Kansas? Well, they help so much, Mike. You know, when uh, when you gang guard the way they gang guard, it's it's uh, if you don't really get them spread, it makes it re really difficult. We didn't uh, we didn't get them spread enough, and and before, and and so we wanted to spread them, and then you hope that. Nate and Remy can make some shots, and unfortunately, Nate made one early, and so, you know, you, you don't you don't help quite as much. And then Remy made a couple late because they were helping; they were they were concerned about our penetration. We've got to do a better job on the on the pick and roll. I mean, we've got to 
we got to do a better job scoring off of that and getting the ball to our bigs down there. And, and we, are, we just, you know, our decision making isn't as good as what it needs to be. Terry took a bad shot start to half and had Remy wide open in the corner. He should have kicked it. Uh, Aaron had an offensive foul that he ran over Gibson. I don't really think he ran over Gibson, but he bumped into him. And um, he should he should have kicked it to the corner, and he didn't. So I mean, we just got to get better at those things and better at, at recognition as to what people are doing. It all sounds like stuff that you, you can easily do, or maybe you already do in large regard. <coughs> is it is it something that could sustain, or was it just a one day? It's really party? easy, Mike, to to look at it on film and say. I see you should have done that. You know, it's a little harder when people are out there chasing you around trying to steal the ball from you. It becomes a whole lot harder, and it's a whole lot harder when you're when you're six foot two or whatever, and you're and you're into all those arms and legs, and it's hard to get a good look. So you you know you have to kind of rely on on uh, really kind of what the what the coaches tell you that uh, you know that which guy's going to come open. You know, because we sit there, we don't have anybody guarding us. I feel like I do sometimes, but I really don't. Coach, uh, Gibson's turnover when he throws it out of bounds. <coughs> uh, Southwell's play where he gets the ball and he goes out of bounds. Are those two of the key moments of the game? And then your defensive pressure, is that probably the best it's been all season? Yeah, I thought for a whatever, three or four possession deal, that's the best it's been. Bob, one's ability to get to the rim is quickness. Rate that amongst the other <coughs> guards that you've had, all the guys that you know, <coughs> going on. Is he like anybody? Uh, I don't know that I've ever had anybody like him, to be honest with you. you know, uh, Nick had great, great quickness, but it was, I mean, he could get you going this way, this way, backwards, and then you'd think he was going to step back and you'd raise up and he'd go by you. Um, he's the only one that's, I think, even, even close. Logan didn't play that way at all. He's probably, if there's anybody, probably a little bit more like Satterfield, but I think he's more explosive than, than what Sat was. <coughs> Coach, after the first game, you said that the game would be different here. That's not something that you typically do. What sparked that? And did things play out the way that you thought? Well, I thought we were horrible. I thought we were horrible, and they played pretty well. And I, I read where Bruce said that, you know, that's, a, that's maybe their best game of the year. And I'm thinking, <coughs> okay, well, that's their best game of the year, and we were awful. I mean, we were just dreadful. Uh, so I thought, you know, if, if that is the case, well, then we, we're going to play better. So. <coughs> Anybody like take this? I'd love to give it away. <laughs> I already got my own. Okay. You uh, always do. You're so damn selfish. But. <laughs> uh, when, when you spread the floor the way you successfully did today, it obviously plays into Jawan's hands and he scores 35. But still, does it surprise you that you win and Terry and Eric score two points between them in the second half? I can see you sitting here after a loss saying, we can't win if Terry and Eric score two points. Mm -hmm, probably. Um, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, one, he's not going to get 35 in the game, but he did today. He's just, he's, if you give him space, he's so hard to guard in space uh, he, because he's, he's got such great explosion. And he's, I think that the difference really is that he can make shots now. <coughs> they didn't come running at him like, like they run at Terry and Aaron, and he made a three. Uh, he's he's able to to bounce it into shots, and you know when you got a guy coming at you like he is, and you're you're back on your heels, and and he steps into shots, he's going to get a good look. They're they're not going to pressure that because they're back on their heels. But to answer your question, probably not. But 
I, honest to God, Dave, I thought I thought Remy could score because I thought they were going to have to help. Uh, I thought we'd get a little bit more out of our bigs than what we did, but they're getting better. They just, you know, they just don't understand how hard it is. It's a hard, it's a hard game, you know. They just don't. They have. They just kind of want. They go pretty hard for a while, and then they relax, and you can't do that. Expand what Dave asked even more. Did you believe that you were going to win a game with those two guys <coughs> getting two points in the second half, being outscored 48 to 26 in the paint, giving up 62 percent field goals in the second half? I mean, that's a that's a lot to overcome. It is, it is, Bob. But you know, uh, in all honesty, that's why I keep, I keep harping with those guys that um, you can always guard. You know, we didn't guard for a prolonged period of time, but we're going to work into where we are. Uh, but we did guard pretty good when we had to guard, uh, and and you have to rebound the ball, and we didn't do a great job of that. But we, you know, we. We got ourselves some second opportunities. <coughs> we really should have, when Devin missed the dunk, we probably should have had that ball. We kind of slapped at it and knocked it out of bounds rather than, rather than securing it. But you got to win something like this, you know? You just, you got to win something like this. You got to win some when people don't play their best and somebody else has to step up. And obviously, Juwan did. Did that answer your question? Well, good. It's kind of off the subject, halfway, more past halfway conference right now. Is it weird at all that you guys haven't seen Kansas or Iowa State or Oklahoma yet? Haven't I just I haven't paid attention, to be honest with you. I mean, I know we play Oklahoma. I have no, Tony told me on the radio I didn't even pay attention. Right. I have no idea who we play after that. Don't care, really. Um, you know, we tell them don't look ahead, and you know why? Well, honestly, God, I don't know. I don't know who we play or where or when or anything. We must play Kansas because everybody's calling one tickets. At some point in time here soon, uh, but other than ticket requests, that's the only time I, you know, think about it. 